Welcome back. We're still looking at exponent, uh, exponentials and solving them. So what do we have? 5 plus e to the 3x minus 7, and all of that is equal to 8. So again, we have some complications we've added. As always, we're kind of building up to progressively more difficult problems. And we've just seen we can use logarithms or ln to help solve these kind of questions. Well, in this case, it wouldn't work right away. If we took the log of the left-hand side, we'd be taking log of the entire thing. This wouldn't be able to apply, say, the product or quotient rule. We'd have log of 5 plus e, and we wouldn't be able to do anything with that. Same with ln. Wouldn't work out. So first, we want to take this 5 and get it to the other side. We want to just have one term on each side. So in that case, what do we have to do? We have to subtract 5 because we have a plus 5 on the left-hand side that we want to get rid of. So we minus 5 from both sides, and we just end up with e to the 3x minus 7 all equals 3, 8 minus 5. Now we can apply our log or ln rules, the power rule, to try and solve this. Remember, it doesn't matter. We can use log to debase anything we want. But since we have e on the left-hand side, it makes sense to use ln. Because remember, if we take ln of both sides, as always, has to be both sides, so ln of 3, well, ln of e is 1. Or ln of e just cancels, and we end up with just the exponent left. Because yeah, ln of e is 1, and you can think we use the power rule to bring 3x minus 7 in front of this entire term. And that's all equal to ln of 3. Well. Now we just have, again, something, some little formula we're solving x for. So what do we have to do? 3x minus 7. Jumping the gun, I was going to do a plus 7. That's what we have to do. But we have minus 7, so we're adding 7 to both sides. Ln 3 plus 7. Cancels, so we have 3x equals ln of 3, which is just a number, by the way. Remember, ln of 3 is something we punch in our calculator and calculate. But if we want the answer to be more precise, we'll just leave it as ln 3. This is going to be some weird decimal, one point something. Why convert to a decimal when we have a more exact answer right now? So ultimately, though, we want x on its own. Divide both sides by 3. This will cancel, and we get x equals ln of 3 plus 7, all divided by 3. Which again, we could calculate out as a number if we needed to. It'd be an approximation, but this is our exact answer and what we'd get for x. So, we're done.